Hey Ravens, welcome to this week's edition of Game Day Northwest. This is Cooper Kate alongside Angie Torres. This week we will give you an update on the football, soccer, and golf as they compete during homecoming week. The Raven football team has suffered three devastating defeats to start the season. Each game has come down to the last possession. Last Thursday, the Ravens visited Shawnee Mission North, desperate for a victory. Let's take it to Ron Stanley for the recap. Northwest took it to Shawnee Mission North as they looked to get their first win of the year on Thursday night. The first half didn't see many scores as a bad snap flies over Easton Krupper's head, along with a missed field goal opportunity late in the second quarter. The Ravens come out in the second half with a little bit of trickery as a rare Charlie Fister pass sails over the defense and into the arms of Max Donahue. Quarterback Will Schneider keeps Shawnee Mission North in the game with a towering throw downfield. That pass was shortly followed by a quarterback sneak to tie up the game in the fourth quarter. With less than a minute left as Northwest is advancing the ball, Joe Hatsfield exploits the Shawnee Mission North secondary to set up a game-winning field goal. That ball is just out of the reach of the Shawnee Mission North defender. And there's David Boschman nailing the game winner as time expires. Northwest moves to 1-3 on the season as they prepare to take on Leavenworth this Friday. This has been Roan Stanley and Cooper Kate. Now let's take it back to game day. Wow, great win, Ravens. Let's continue this run for the rest of the season. Last week was a great week for our Ravens sports teams. On Saturday, the Ravens soccer team took on the Blue Aces from Wichita East. Catherine Freeman has the scoop on the game. <laughs> The Ravens took the field against Wichita East Saturday afternoon at Seaback. The Raven defense held Wichita East scoreless the first half. Leading the Ravens in goals was Chase Kuzman, Connor Jokers, and Jack Cashman, all each having two goals. Wichita East finally got on the board, scoring a goal with a few minutes left in the game. The soccer team will be back in action against Shawnee Mission East this Thursday. For Game Day Northwest, this has been Catherine Farewell and Angie Torres. Great job, guys. Let's take it to Roan Stanley and Adam Cook for our sports edition of World from the Halls. I'm going to be on ONW now. If you're stupid. Do you know who won the national championship of football last year? No. <laughs> no. no. It's Kansas City Royals. For football? Wait. Yeah, for football. Do you think you know a lot about sports? No. Okay. Good. What do you know? I know gymnastics that was not featured in a fall sport. Gymnastics is a sport? <laughs> How do you feel about Kansas City getting an NBA team? What's NBA? Oh, man. How do you feel about LeBron James retiring? Um, if that's his time, man. How do you feel about superstar Kevin Durant signing with the Royals? Uh, I think it's great. How do you feel about the news of uh, Kansas City getting an NBA team? I thought they already had one. How do you feel about uh, superstar Kevin Durant coming to play for the Royals this year? Uh, do you know who Tom Brady is? I believe in... Was he the guy that owned all the Papa John's? Alright, how do you feel about Han Solo's touchdown for the Bears last night? Uh, majestic. Let's see, how do you feel about the Royals getting to the World Series this year? I like that idea. You like that idea? They're, well, I mean, they're already in the World Series. They already are. They're doing good so far. You said they're already in the World Series? I think they're doing good so far. They are doing pretty good. So far, I've kept up. Mm -hmm. I mean, on my phone. Alright. Uh, that's good. Thanks. No problem. That's it this week, Ravens. Have a great homecoming week. This has been Angie Torres alongside Cooper King. Now back to the desk. 